retail price. So they are super duper, you know, very, very affordable. Um, $19.98, and there's a lot of detail to these as well. They're standing about four and a half inches tall, but these, we don't have a lot of these to go around just being up front with you. So let's start with these guys and just talk about, excuse me, about all the detail that goes into these. Uh, well, you know, once again, <laughs> to do these smaller pieces, you know, it's it's frankly more of a challenge to do this, mm -hmm. this uh, you know, highly detailed, small work and make it work than it is on the larger pieces, you know, because you have a little bit more more leeway, you know, on the larger pieces, you know, it, but you have to just hit it, hit it right on the head to get it right mm -hmm. on a small piece. Yeah, as you can see, you're looking at that scene, that uh, yeah. that little village scene on the front. That's amazing. That is a that 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 relief is a is a project all by itself yeah. to get that to where it actually looks, you know, has dimension and it has depth and it has all that stuff. Right. So artistically, this is a challenge, and I am. I'm very pleased with this piece because it came out really, really just the way I wanted it. You know, yeah. but it, the, the 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 trim and the base and the all those elements and the stuff that's in his bag and all, that is, uh, you know, that's a lot. That's a lot of work. Yeah. You know, to get that thing just right. You know. Well, and, see and the now village, look at this. Yeah, the village oh. idea is even there on the back there. So that's, uh, yeah, that's that's a really special piece. And I'll tell you what, a piece like this. You know, if you if you want a small example of what I do, yeah. just about everything that I do is represented in that piece. You know, it's yeah. a this is actually one of my favorite uh, my favorite ornaments. I right. I worked a long time on on this design, and uh, yeah, I think it it's a, has come out as a really a really artistic piece. I love the fact that we're also doing it in this ethnic way with mm -hmm. the you know the uh, the for the black uh, you know the black uh, folks that uh, that you know that share all this stuff with us and yeah and there's a whole bunch of them i know that because you know i see so many of our african-american friends that that come up to my signings when i do the personal signings sure and it's always gratifying you know and, and i so i am very pleased to do something you know that is is for them too you know right absolutely i just think amazing all the detail you got in there in four and a half inches and then yeah. for us to be able to get it for less than $20 is truly unbelievable. And even right here where the coat opens up, all the teeny weeny little details right in here. I mean, that's just amazing. There isn't a place where you go, oh, well, there's nothing going on there. I mean, even the little <clears throat> tiny bit of glitter, like you said, you look like you hop on this path and it's going, you know, that it's, uh, you know, a quarter of a mile away kind of thing. Well, you so know, and yeah. Here, here's another thing, you know, look at that and think about the, the painting. Now that was painted by hand. Right. And so the, the subtlety of that, you know, the blues and, the, and, the, and, and done in there, and that's not just a stroke, that is a dry brush uh, method right. to give it that kind of subtle look, you know, mm -hmm. and so that there's a lot that goes into that, you know, and then when we put the antiquing on it and brings out the, you know, the line work and everything, it's, it's, uh, there's a lot to that to make it look just mm -hmm. right like that, because there's, you know, there's sort of a fine line between something looking really great and yeah. something either, either being overdone or underdone or, you know, right. too much, you know, too much stroke work or too much can, can ruin the effect. And we we go after that every single detail. Right. To, I mean, honestly, it's it's. I don't think about anything when I'm. I don't think about the commercialization or any of that kind of stuff when I'm working right. on stuff. Mm -mm. I think about is this artistically pleasing? You know, if somebody right. gonna look at these pieces and say, "Wow, this is a beautiful piece of artwork." You know, right. and that's. That's, uh, that's what I'm shooting for. You know what else I was thinking what, as I looked at these, and I know we call them a Santa, but <clears throat> this to me, just the way that you've done it with the extra scene, et cetera, it reminds me more of like Father Christmas. You know, there's a little bit more of a yesteryear kind of feel to it. And so uh, for that reason, I just think it's spectacular because, you know, I mean, you can collect a lot of Santas and a lot of Santas can be kind of more whimsical, 
but this one has an elegance to it. This one has more of a, you know, um, like I said, father, you know, kind of feeling, uh, you know, I just yeah, really it looks, love it. it, it, it look, you know, Santa Claus is portrayed in a lot of different ways, you know, around the world. Mm -hmm. And th that Father Christmas thing, it, it's almost sort of like a European yeah. kind of thing. So there's a certain degree of elegance to this piece mm -hmm. that is is more than just the, you know, the, the rotund guy in a red suit, you right. know. Uh, <laughs> That's exactly right. <laughs> we love right. him too, you know. <laughs> but, uh, but this one, this is really, you know, makes a, makes a really good statement. Sure does. Yeah. Here's something else that's coming up in just a little bit. You will have